Welcome back and happy Thursday. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather. In terms of our headlines, we are looking at Quite similarly, what we've been looking at all week this week, temperatures are expected to be 5 to 10 degrees above those seasonal averages, even pushing possibly 15 degrees above those seasonal averages as we wrap up the work week and get into the weekend. We still have some residual showers and new showers in those higher elevation regions, mostly focused again in those mountainous areas, not really anything for us here in the valleys. But then we do have a shift in weather actually headed our way late, late Saturday night and into Sunday. So that storm system has moved on up just a little bit faster than we thought it would. So that moisture is going to start to hit us late, late Saturday night. So we'll notice right now that along that I-70 corridor, we do have a little bit of some rain snow mix, but it'll be short lived and start to shift on out of our forecast region and disperse by we get it, by the time we get into these late night hours tonight Then we're going to fast forward and we'll start to watch a little bit of some moisture roll on through those high regions through Friday. But Saturday 4 p.m. We're really focusing on some snow through the San Juan, through those central mountains and even pushing towards that Rocky Mountain National Park region and steamboats. Springs. We're also watching this cold front because by the time we get into those late Saturday hours, it's going to push on through, giving us quite the drop in temperatures by about a full 10, 15 degrees, and then also bring in some storms. All that snow is focused through the Continental Divide region in those southern mountains. We are looking at some rain here in the valley. A closer look on this storm system that's making its way across the Great Basin to hit us again on Sunday morning is we will start to see that mostly moving through those northern mountains by the time we wrap up on Friday and then the rest of that will follow. But as we take a magnifying glass on this, we'll notice again down that I-70 quarter in just a few hours is where we are seeing that. Then we'll fast forward to that 10 p.m. hour starting to disperse. We're not seeing much moisture, just some intermittent cloud coverage. As we wake up tomorrow, we're even seeing clear skies through the entire western slope. But then a little bit more of some cloud coverage rolling on in by Friday afternoon. Then we're going to start to see a little bit of that moisture through the northern mountains, a little bit through Saturday, but then intermittent all through those Saturday afternoon hours, not focused for us locally. Then Saturday, 7 p.m., we'll start to see some showers over that Nuclea and Glade Park region. Again, not really anything for us in Grand Junction, nor for Montrose, just a little bit to those southern regions and to the east regions. Then we'll fast forward to those late night hours. We are starting to see a little bit of some showers, maybe through Fruta, through Mac, through Loma, and then we'll notice through Sunday, we kind of have uh, inconsistent models for Sunday, but we are expecting at least a little bit of some rainfall in Grand Junction, in Palisade, and stretching down through Delta and Montrose. But despite all this moisture that we're watching move on in, we're still in a drought for the western slope in that dry to moderate zone for a lot of regions. Now we are feeling 66 degrees outside right now in Grand Junction and 60 through Montrose. Earlier today, we were pushing 69, which is well above what we're typically used to for this time of year. But outside right now on America's Mattress Live Tower Cam, we do have those clouds in those higher regions and actually some elevated wind speeds. And we'll see that even on our tower cam right now. We're looking at 29 through Grand Junction. Montrose a little bit less though, but down that I-70 corridor also elevated as we see a little bit of these clouds uh, bring us some moisture through that Glenwood Canyon region. But Discovery Auto Group seven day forecast has that moisture moving in for Sunday. Like I mentioned, Rain here in the valley, snow in those higher regions. Those cooler temperatures down in the 50s are going to continue all the way through that middle of the work week. And Thursday, we also might expect some snow showers to roll on in. But again, those models are a little inconsistent for now. Try and make some plans for Friday and Saturday.